Hi guys! Hey! Welcome back to our channel. Um, today we thought we would do a sit down video as we are going to Disneyland Paris in eight days. But for you guys, as you're watching My this... My thumbs are cut. I've got a thing. I can't watch. What? I can't... I, I actually can't bend this thumb without bending this finger. Can anyone else do that? So put your thumb like that and then bend it. So what bend you your thumb without bending this bit. I can't do it. Watch. No, no, it's on both hands as well. I don't know why, but then I can do this as well. So I get, sorry, well off topic, I know. Very special. As we were saying, we are only a few days away from going to Disneyland Paris. But for you guys, if you're watching this on the day it's uploaded, we're actually in Disneyland Paris right but, now. Right now, I'm probably like this. I can't think what we're doing on this date, but... What day is it? Sunday? No, no. it's Wednesday. Oh, it goes up on guys. Wednesday. Oh, okay. I don't know. Goes we'll be in Wednesday. Disneyland Paris, having a great time. Um, if you head over to our Instagram right now, I'm sure you're going to see a spam of Disney Halloween things, um, which we're both super excited about. Today's video, we thought we would talk to you guys about our Disney food plans, some snacks we want to try whilst we are in Disneyland Paran. Paran? Paran? Some new Disney guys. What we'll be doing in Disneyland Paris, what food do we want to try, and all of the cool Halloween type stuff they've got going on, which we're mainly really excited about. Okay, so this is a huge intro, <laughs> but yeah, let's go. Let's go. So firstly, I think we've mentioned it a few times before, but we are going with a very large party of people, which is a whole new thing for us. Like 14. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of people. Some people might go on more, but for us, that's that's huge. Considering it's usually just... And I don't like sharing anything. Yeah. So that's the plan. Super excited about it. And we have a few reservations booked. Um, so we have the dining plan, the half board. I'm not too sure. I think it's the yeah, half board. Yeah, we've got board, the half board. Where we get two meal vouchers a day. Yeah, I think it's halfboard. Yeah. So there's quite a lot of quick service places we want to try, but we have also booked some tabley service type things. Tabley service. service. Just table service ones. Okay, so we are going back to Bistro Shay Remy or She Remy. Shay Remy. It's Shay Remy. Yeah. It's Bistro Shay Remy. Um, mm -hmm. We've been there before in our previous Paris vlogs, uh, which was awesome. Uh, we loved it so much that we are going to go back. It is a Ratatouille restaurant, and yes, they do sell Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Which is awesome. Um, it's really, really well themed. Everything's huge. You become a mouse or a rat when you go in. Charlotte's already a rat before she goes in. <laughs> 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 if you ever go, ask if there's enough of you. I think you need four. Ask for one of the booths. They give you like a booth and like the actual the dividers are plates. It's awesome, absolutely awesome. Uh, the food's amazing. They do set menus, which is uh, pretty cool because uh, you can choose your set menus. And um, last time we went, we both went for the same one and we got the one. I think it was the linguine. Oh, no, we had the steak. Yeah, which How one could was you it? The, no, 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 the oh, I don't know. not linguine. The food, linguine, yeah, 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 the yeah. person. Uh, I think it was the Emil. We went for the Emil. So oh, no, 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 we went them. for the Remy. We went for the Remy meal. But they're called different people's names, and we had the same one, and it was the steak, and the steak was amazing. And A I massive update, you. though. They don't have starters anymore that we don't like. Oh, they've changed the starters. Last time they only had an artichoke heart salad. Choke. That's what I said, an artichoke heart salad. Artichoke. Oh, after choke heart salad. It's hard thing to say. Say it really fast three times. Change that. It's all you'd be allowed unless you went to like the third set menu. But now it looks like there's two options, which I think one of them's a soup. Watch our vlogs are coming very soon, and you'll see exactly what we ordered. Yeah. As well as going back to Bistro Chez Remy, we're also going back to Captain Jack's, which we loved when we went last time. The theming in that restaurant is what makes it, and we both love the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and it, it is like, well, you're in the ride. The actual is. ride goes through the restaurant. Yeah, like, it's so cool. If you've never been before, you should go. It used to be called Blue Lagoon, yeah. now called Captain Jack's. I haven't actually looked at the menus for that one to see if they've changed, but the food was like Caribbean <sighs> style. Yeah, it was like proper like Caribbean. Rum, Anyone coconut, who's been to like Turtle thing. Bay, it's like that kind of food. Uh, it's it's mm. awesome. Um, I had that rum and banana cake or rum oh, and banana yeah. thing after. Oh my god, that was delicious. It was just like rum soaked bananas. Yeah, with like, like yeah, with like caramel and I was like an ice cream with it. Oh, it was it was actually incredible. It was it was so good. And it's really like 
it's really dark in there as well. It's all like, it's meant to be like atmosphere, like Tortuga kind of thing, it's pretty cool. So before we move on to the other stuff we've got planned, like other areas and places we're gonna eat, um, the two sit downs we're going to, Captain Jack's and uh, Bistro Shea Remy, you can use your meal vouchers. So we've got the half board, so our meal vouchers are worth, do people say they were worth 27 or 28? Oh, I really don't know. I can't remember, last time we went they were worth about 28 I think it was euros. like, uh, like low 30s I think. Yeah, maybe 31, something like that. They're worth, they're worth a set amount. And then say the meal menu which you choose at Shea Remy is 36 euros. You then have to pay the addition between the two. So they'll take your voucher off of the main price and then that's what you pay. But yeah, you just pay the difference, which is awesome. The only thing it doesn't include is drinks. Yes, so you have to pay extra for this. Okay, so the third place we're going to isn't a sit down restaurant, it is a all you can eat buffet style restaurant. And we are going to Restaurant de Stars which is in the Walt Disney Studios Park. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And um, it's pretty awesome. So you just go in, you help yourself. We've never actually been to an all-you-can-eat in Paris, uh, Disneyland Paris. Um, last time we went, we were just so, like, single-minded about doing everything that we just didn't, we just didn't have that in our plans. So this time we wanted to give it a go because everyone keeps raving about how amazing they are. Family, friends, people on Instagram. It, we're constantly being told how awesome they are. So we're giving it a shot this time. And that is totally free because that's included within our pouches. So as well as the things that we've booked, there are a few quick service places that we want to either go back to or try that we've never tried before. And one of them is Bella Notte. Well, I think that's how you say it. Yeah. Um, when we no, you went, say it like, Bella Notte. That place. Um, so when we went back in 2017. 17, yeah. 2017. Um, Bella Notte was shut for refurbishment. I've looked online and I think it should be open, hopefully. And that's like the only place in the Disneyland Park that we didn't try. That was quick service. Yeah, it's the only place we didn't get to go. So I think I'd like to go to Bella Notte. And we're so. going with a lot of pizza pasta fans so I imagine that's going to be a place that we're all going to want to go to um, so yeah Bella Notte is the one place that I really want to go I don't have a specific place I really really well there is one place but I could leave it if it meant trying new things so for instance if there's loads of nice new things that I know there is that I want to try and it means dropping the place I want to go to that's totally fine I know what that place is but the place I'd really like to Let's go say back to at the same to... time see if I know after three one, one two, two three, three. total Tosies. Oh. Obviously we're going to go to Casey's, it's not even a question. Yeah. Well, that's Casey's is definitely, yeah, it's our pretty first night, yeah. yeah. Okay. Obviously we're going to go to Casey's. Okay. Toad Hall, yeah, like, yeah. I couldn't leave Casey's, but Toad Hall, if I'm honest, the food was 6 out of 10, but the theming, 9 out of yeah, 10. Yeah, we love Toad too. The theme, even if I don't eat in there, I just want to go and get a picture at the front. Okay. So, the next bit is, obviously being Halloween, Disneyland Paris have some Halloween food items in, which we're going to be hunting down, because I'm all about that Halloween food. And one of the things that we really want to try is a set menu from Cafe Hyporion. Cafe. I don't know if that's how you say it. Cafe. Hyporion. The one next Cafe. to... Cafe. The one next to... What do they call Space op Mountain? It's opposite Hyperspace Mountain. Hyperspace Mountain, that's what it's called. It's opposite there, and it's basically just a standard beef burger with like cheese and pickles, but the bun is green. Mm -hmm. And bear with the dessert, because bear when with. you go to Disneyland Paris and you get the set menus, you get your main, the dessert, and a drink. And the dessert, I'll put a picture on the screen in a moment, but it's a chocolate mousse in the shape of a pumpkin, and it's got like salted caramel sauce in the middle. And I couldn't find a very good picture of it online, but this is the best one I got. And how good does that look? That chocolate mousse. Oh my god. We're a sucker for anything that pumpkin like, shaped. Just pumpkin shaped, Halloween y themes. A green bun. I, I mean, I won't go as far as eating a vegetarian burger, but. So, another thing that we've seen online that we really, really want to try is the. It's like a Halloween cheese toasty. We're not actually 100% what it's called, what it's called um, but we'll put a picture on the screen right now. So yeah, how awesome does that look? So um, I was literally looking at the picture and I was getting confused. I was like, well, what's the black bit? It's obviously bread. Okay, so it goes, I've got like a slice of orange bread, they've got their cheese, and they've got like a slice of black bread, and then obviously they cut it into the triangle. Um, so it's just normal cheese toasty. I don't think it's gonna taste of anything. No, but it's cool. Uh, yeah, no, exactly, but it's awesome. It's gonna look awesome, and it's gonna be very Instagrammy. so obviously we're gonna be taking pictures of that and they also had um the like dark orange fanta which we've tried in this country it's dark, and yeah. i just didn't love it 
It's like blood orange. You didn't it? mind it, did you? I drank the whole bottle, so it, it looks like two years. it looks like Coke, but it's like it doesn't look like Coke. It, it doesn't. doesn't. It. Coke is brown. This is the thing. I always thought Coke was black, right? And Pepsi is black, right? But I had a cup, a cup of Pepsi or a glass of Pepsi and a cup of this stuff. It's not black. It's like this is black. This is like like black. <laughs> it's not black. It's like I can't explain. It's yeah. Once you see it, you'll know what I mean. It, we actually left the bottle laying down in the fridge overnight. Oh and yeah, we it turned up, the It actually like, died, the inside of the bottle. So whatever like food dye they're using in there, I can only imagine what it's doing to my insides. Mm. But it tasted good, so. So the next thing we want to try is actually over in the Disney Village, and this is at Annette's Diner. And we always hear really good things about Annette's Diner, but we've never actually been. So I'm we hoping... did pop our heads in, didn't we? When we yeah, were... but I mean like to go for food. Oh yeah, we never eat in. We've never actually been, so I'm hoping we can try and squeeze it in. It's always a struggle when you go to Disneyland Paris because you're there for such a short space of time. But even if it's like a late evening, we might be able to go for a late dinner yeah, there. Yeah. We'll try and get it in. And this is the reason why we want to go. Look at that burger. It's like a Maleficent black burger and I want it. I think the actual burger itself is pretty standard. Yeah. But they've made it look like Maleficent. And I think they do um, crisscross fries, what are they called? Crisscross fries. What are they called? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, and they have like fries and they're in a circle, but it's like crisscross. Is it in the picture? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Maybe it's tater tots. I don't know. But you know what I mean, like the fries that are like crisscross, but I don't Hash think they do browns. those. No. I don't think they do these things anyway that I'm thinking. I think they do tater tots. Um, but yeah, the Maleficent burger, we're also very excited to try that. Yeah, yeah I like a Maleficent burger. So one of the final things that I'm super excited for is the fact because it is Halloween um, and Disney love to sell me things, they've got loads of like Halloween-y, villainy shaped sweets and treats and stuff like that, um, which is awesome because that means I get to eat lots of villain shaped stuff. So they've got things of the world. We'll show you right now. These are the kind of the best picture we can find of them. So they're pretty cool. As you can see, they're all like villains and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Um, and. Again, flavours and stuff I'm not 100% on, but I'm going to like them because they're going to be shaped by Disney villains, so that's just going to make them taste that much better. We've obviously done like Disney World at Halloween, and we've never done Disneyland at Halloween, so it's going to be a slight different approach. It's going to be a different kind of park. I'm hoping, they, I'm hoping they decorate as nicely, or at least try to decorate as nicely. I know it's a little bit different for park to park, but it'd be cool if they do. So, we hope you enjoyed this video. Next week for you guys, will be the start of our Paris related videos. So we've got hauls, we've got vlogs, all coming your way. So stay tuned if you wanna see some Disneyland Paris stuff. Well, thank you very much for watching guys and we shall see you next week. Bye. Bye.